Hey everyone, Token Dave over here, the dorky talking black guy that's just trying to get by. Now welcome to another edition of That Was Random. So I, I'm continuing my little thing about basically being a bit amazed and shocked and excited about the season three of the DLC characters of Street Fighter V. And one character in particular really has my attention. You know, I previously made a video about being amazed by Sakura and everything and how like, you know, they brought her about and they, how they advanced her. But there's another character that is actually there that has a drastic change to him. And that's Cody, you know? And now, I have a bit of an interesting relationship when it comes to the handling of Cody Travers. You see, when I played Final Fight in the arcades as a kid, you know, Cody was my default character. Cody was my favorite character in Final Fight. It always bothered me that that was the one game for a while that I saw him in, up until the Final Fight fighting game they tried to have, where basically the game itself was really crappy and everything. And, you know, it was to explain why you didn't see him in the other Final Fight games and to explain his drastic transformation in Street Fighter 03. So, but let me go back. Street Fighter 03 is actually the second time you really, really see Cody in action and they made him a prisoner. They made him like a convict and I didn't like that. You know, Cody was a really cool character, and to be honest, Cody was the only person that I considered an actual, authentic street fighter. You know, he would fight multiple people, more than multiple people. His move set was very direct, short, yet powerful, and he didn't waste movements at all. You know, so basically, the way they portrayed him in Alpha and also in Super Street Fighter 4, while his fight set move was great, you know, the way he was like a convict, escaping jail and everything, it really off made me a little bit, put me off to him. Granted, the story behind him and the idea is pretty awesome, but I just didn't like the fact that my favorite character went from being a really cool hero and everything to a con to a convict. But for storyline purposes, it makes a, it's kind of cool. But now in Street Fighter V, you see him like clean cut wearing a suit and everything, you know. Actually, I, I'm i part of a Facebook group called like, you know, um, Fighting fighting Game X or Fighters Game X. I keep forgetting the exact thing. But someone said, why does Cody look like a Republican? And you know, that's a negative stereotype, but he does look a little too clean cut for the Cody Travers that we know as the scrappy street fighter in Final Fight and the convict, you know, that was in jail for a while in basically the Street Fighter series. So it's going to be pretty, I'm a little curious about what they're doing with Cody. And I'm also curious about his moveset a little bit because while I, I kind of think, I kind of thought that his moveset was really uninspired and they didn't really focus enough on it. His supers were amazing, but the whole thing with the tornado and throwing rocks and everything, eh, very off-putting but I'm curious to see what they're going to do with Cody in Street Fighter 5 and I'm this is the first time since Street Fighter 5 was released that I'm a little I'm actually excited about it so those are my personal thoughts about Cody in Street Fighter 5 you guys agree disagree got anything else to say drop me a comment below give me a like follow me on Facebook at Token Dave or on Twitter at Token Dave 80 Subscribe and ring that bell so you know when a new video loads. But until then, this has been Token Dave, the Dorky Token Black Guy, who's just trying to get by. And I'll catch you guys later.